Yes, guys, good morning to all. I'm about to do a video of Bridgetown. Once more, starting from the Golden Square Freedom Park. On the site, which was the old National Insurance Scheme building, um, previously the um, it was the National Insurance Scheme building, and the same thing, whether with National Insurance was here, it was also the fire station and the temporary relocation of the Fraser Street Market. So I'm in Bridgetown once again. Golden Square Freedom Park was opened in 2020. In, in the in memory of the Clement Osborne of Sir Clement Osborne Payne, who is a national hero of Barbados, Trinidad and born Barbadian national hero. So this is Golden Square here in town, in Bridgetown. Here, this is Bridgetown, which is our country's capital. I will start the video here and make my way through town. So this is the southern part of Bridgetown. And this is Nelson Street here, which is a which is a village in the city. People live up here. In Nelson Street. Nelson Street is also referred to as a red light district because it is a place where prostitutes used to play their trade on a on a nightly basis. So this is all the gold and square freedom park dedicated to the late Clement Osborne Payne who was born in 1904 and died in 1941 national hero of Barbados born in Trinidad and he died in Trinidad so I will take a walk along the waterfront again this morning, I made my way down through town. So this is uptown now. I will try to make my way downtown. The Grand Williams bus terminal here, which was previously the Fairchild Street bus terminal. All here was the National Insurance Steam Building until it was demolished in 2020. And before I go any further, this is the Farmer Empire Cinema and Theater over here. And you can see the Bethel Methodist Church across here at the end, which dates back to 1844. And this was the Farmer Empire Cinema and Theater over here, which was closed down in the late 80s or early 90s. The building is now left abandoned and neglected, just the four walls. This is the Republic Bank here, which was once the Barbados National Bank. So I am looking towards Independence Square, heading towards Independence Square, looking towards the Chamberlain Lift Bridge. I mean the, 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 um, the looking towards the Charles Duncan only bridge. So this is the Granville William bus terminal here which was once Fairchild Street bus terminal. Buses from this, destin from this terminal will take you to destinations in the south and east of the island. And this was once the train station for the train that used to travel from Bridgetown to Bell Plain and St. Andrew from, 19 from 1873 to 1937. You can see the Central Bank of Barbados in the background. And this is Independence Square here in Bridgetown. So 
this is Independent Square Taxi stand and it's lift bridge to Chamberlain Bridge is now lifting again This is Independent Square here in Bridgetown Speedbird House the bird house here we are going to this travel is and there's the bus store is And this is the statue here of our first Prime Minister, father of independence and also a national hero, the right excellent Errol Walton Barrow. This is our national hero. He was the father of independence and also the first Prime Minister of Barbados. Born the 21st of January 1920 and died June 1st, 1987. So Independence Square was once a car park It is now a city park where persons can sit and relax and enjoy the sights and sounds of the city The bridge is now closing back and going back down and This is the spot thing here at Independence Square So Independence Square was once a car park where persons sit and relax and enjoy the sights and sounds of the city until then Billy Miller who was a member of parliament for the city of Bridgetown she decided to transfer Bridgetown from just a from just a park to a To, um, place where persons can sit and relax and enjoy the sights and sounds of the city. The Cambrian Bridge is now closing back. This is the lift bridge, the swing bridge that used to swing years ago. Now it lifts to let large vessels across the sea. Then Billy Miller also is responsible for this project in refurbishing the swing bridge into this modern bathroom design. Later became massive stores as well. The bridge is not open back. At least I missed it lifting, but I still caught it and it was closing back. So this bridge is now operated by the Barbados for Authority Inc. Parliament in the Western Hemisphere. The Parliament here dates by the 1675. Many tourists often refer to it as a church. You can see the cenotaph here, in which persons there reach every remembrance day for those persons who fought in World War I and two who have perished. Come back up towards the Lift Bridge. which has a number of beach waterfront restaurants and so on. And this is the, the Brickham and Lewis Boardwalk now. 
this view wharf here, known as the Carinage. So I will take a walk to town via the waterfront. You can see the Parliament building and you can see the new uh, monument where the Nelson statue used to be, the new uh, monument here, which was unveiled on the 28th of November 2023. First of all, this is the Chamberlain place here, where the manning of plants and furniture store was. The manning was also in here. The manning showroom was here years ago. The manning showroom. You see the uh, Bank of Canada here. You see the Parliament buildings over here. And you can see the Central Bank of Barbados in the background. And treasury building here, known as the Barbados Revenue Authority building. Right here. And this is all the Karina here. Known as the war. So all the come back up to the Chamberlain Lift Bridge. So I'm now walking downtown. Walking down on the boardwalk downtown. Chaffet is now in Chamberlain Place for the Manning Appliance Store Bus. Chaffet is now in there. You can see the Wild Bank of Canada on top of Trafalgar Square. So Nelson statue was here years ago, for many years, until they took it down on the 16th of November on Lewis Boardwalk. The Boardwalk was constructed sometime in the late 90s, early 2000s. Forest Guardian Bank here, which was once Barclays Bank. And Broad Street is the fourth on the forefront and the wall forward is to the back. So I'm heading downtown now, down on the boardwalk. Spirit Bond here in the back of town. This is all the waterfront here, known as the Carinage or the wharf. This is all the boats here. And this is the oil integration department here. Integration department. And this is the Carlyle House where the telephone company was. This was Carol and Wallace years ago. Carol and Wallace was in here. The Jolly Roger used to dock down here, but not on sit down here anymore. And Carla Car Park, Carla House, where Carla Car Park was. So we're heading down in the western direction now, the western side of Bridgetown. On the Tranquility Cruise Boat here. A Carla House here, where the telephone company used to be. And it was cable and wireless. Slash Bartel 
But I tell you what, I'm a cable and well, it's here, but I'm in it. Oh, the car, the car, right here. Well, hi, Travels Inc. The horse here, Barbados. And I'll go to places travel down here now. I had one further up, very shorty just now. And I also have one down here. This is now Hinch Street, which is taking you down to the Berkshire Port. And the Water Harbor, you can see the new immigration building down here. around here as well. I'm going to a fat restaurant here at Lower Broad Street. And this is Kentucky here. And this is check that here. This is St. George Street. I believe the Battle Courts. And this is the Lower Broad Street taxi stand here. And this is the Farmer Mutual Life Assurance Building. This is back to Broad Street here again in town. Lower Broad Street. Taxi stand. And this is Trader House here. And you can see the city of Bridgetown, Cooperative Credit Union. This is Lord Broad Street here now. Where the bus is Lord to take the University of the West Indies students to their school. St. Mary's Church over here, St. Mary's Anglican Church, and this is the Jubilee Gardens here, which is the site of the Lower Green bus stand for many years until May 20th, 2003. And you can see the Chorus of Plant store over here. So, this was the Lower Green bus stand for many years until May 20th, 2003. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a blessed morning.